Here are the tests on my 1949 Alamo pottery toilet. There is no marked water level in the tank, so I just have it set here because this is how it flushes well. It'll stop at that little piece of grass right there. And also, there is some roughness in the glaze, and there's some minerals, and a barb in the trapway, so hopefully it will still be able to pass most of the tests. But anyway, let's give it a flush and see how it does. It has a cool flush. I've definitely seen better. So let's add some water to the bowl and then try a washcloth. I had to stop the video last time because this washcloth actually got stuck on the barb and it took me a while to get it out. So hopefully it will not do that this time. But anyway, I'll be back when the tank is full. If it doesn't get caught on the barb, I'm guessing it will pass easily. And there we go, passed easily. So now let's add some water to the bowl and then try a grocery bag. I'm guessing it'll take this also as long as it doesn't get caught on the barb. So, let's wait for the tank to fill, and I'll be back to see if it can take a grocery bag. It looks to me like the bag aired up, but it took it pretty easily. So. Let's add some water to the bowl and try them both together. So I'm not sure how this will do. I'm guessing it will clog. And it was so long ago that I tested my other one that I don't remember how it did. So I guess we'll just see. But anyway, I'll be back when the tank is full. It passed that easier than the bag alone. I'm impressed. Now let's try a dish towel. Assuming it doesn't get caught on the barb, I'm guessing it will pass this perfectly. So I'll be back when the tank is full and I will lay this flat so that it's not angled to go straight down the trap. So kind of as flat as I can get it honestly but I'll be back when the tank is full and it's caught on the barb should be hanging out yep so now let's pull at it, see if I can get it to come out without ripping the cloth in half. There we go. Now I'm going to do a retake to see if it will pass, because I don't really count that as clogging considering it was on a barb. And anything that's normally going down a toilet would easily be able to pass by that barb. Like toilet paper just rip apart and that's all this toilet needs to flush and of course you know what else it needs to flush but I'm not going to get into that so I'll be back when the tank is full and let's see if it can take a dish towel once again I think it's capable it just has some trouble 
There we go. That's the perfect pass I was expecting. So now let's try a dirt test. I think this will go a little differently because there is some dirt in the rim and also the design doesn't seem very good. Because if you look right under there, you can see all those minerals from where the bull rinse missed it over time. So I'm guessing that by design, this toilet has bad bull rinse and also due to the dirt in the rim. So I'll be back when the tank is full. I'll spread the dirt around and I'll get a bin underneath the bottom. I know that there's no way this little thing is going to catch all the water, but it's better than having it all go on the patio. Just got some caught on that shelf there. So, oh look at that, I forgot to get it up on this side. So, let's see if it can take dirt. It has pretty sorry bull rinse as expected due to either clogging in the rim or bad design. I don't know what to say honestly, but I'll figure that out when I dissect it. So it looks like it got it pretty well from inside the bowl, cleared it real nicely, but it just left some around the sides and right on the back there. So I'm gonna pull this out just so it doesn't lose any more dirt and I'm gonna give it a second flush. I'm gonna hold the handle and just use whatever water is in the tank. So it looks like it's completely missing this part in the front. I'm not sure if there's a hole underneath that little bump there, but I kind of think there is. So just gonna have to rinse that the old fashioned way. I don't really know if it's the old fashioned way because before they had flushing toilets, they just dumped it out their window. So, not really the old fashioned way, but I'm overanalyzing it. So, anyway, that's about it for these tests. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe and turn on notifications. It helps my channel a lot, and I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video. And I hate to say it, but this is going to be the second to last flush for this toilet. It lasted 73 years, which is a long existence for a toilet, but unfortunately it's time for it to enter the gates of toilet heaven. So, second to last flush on the 1949 Alamo Potteries. You're a good toilet.